Here I am in the lovely Dutch island of Aruba, just north of Venezuela. What an incredible place. Um, I just saw an incident on the beach which was really quite spectacular and it was around an issue that lots of times people will ask me about and that is someone lying through their teeth. Some, sometimes people will say, well Stephen, isn't there a concern that someone can make a claim of harassment or discrimination when in fact it never took place? Yeah, it can happen. Um, but it's rare where that kind of thing actually goes on and I'll tell you what we saw with this American couple, talk about giving Americans sort of a bad name, um, is that they insisted that they had paid for their chairs when it was a blatant lie, everyone around them knew. And here's the the thing that, that would catch them is that they said, oh, I think I paid this person. And they said, well, who was it? Can you show us? And they couldn't show any of the staff who was there who'd done it. And then they kept changing their story. And you see, that's the thing, that if someone is going to lie about harassment or discrimination in the workplace, they got to be really clever, really, really good to do it. Most people aren't that clever. And also, people who do lie and deceive like that, they're not that smart. So don't worry about the few times that someone um, actually might lie about an issue of harassment and discrimination. Um, they're going to be found out. And if they're not, then you just got to work a little harder to make sure. I got to tell you, for every time that you got one person who lies about an issue of harassment, there's probably 10,000 people who have sucked it up. And even though things have happened to them, they haven't said anything because they're, they're fearful, they're concerned that if they say anything, um, that somehow it's going to work against them. Or, you know, so they better, they better just sort of suck up the issues of harassment that they're actually dealing with. Anyway, um, there's lots of information that you can find about these issues. If you want to, you can go to my website, stephenhammond.ca, that's Stephen with a PH, or you can go to my resource store, which has got all kinds of resources for supervisors and managers, and that's human rights, um, humanrightstrainingstore.com. When I'm on the beach, sometimes I forget. humanrightstrainingstore.com. Hopefully you get an opportunity to come to Aruba. It's really quite spectacular.